Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again. Tonight, I gotta make dinner. So, that's how I light my Trangia. Pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty safe. Still have hair on my knuckles, so I ain't, ain't gonna say it's dangerous. I've had more flare-ups from my gas grill. Nevertheless, firing up the Trangia tonight. Please bear with me. I'm, I'm using my phone here to uh, give me my videoing. So anyways, now I wasted enough of your time. What are we up to, 40 seconds? See, I just wasted 40 seconds of your life, and I am terribly sorry. I'm apologizing dearly. All right, so tonight what we're going to do is uh, I'm, I'm stuck over here at a shipper. Uh, I can't get loaded till like 3 in the morning, which is okay. We'll get through it. But nevertheless, what I got here is a half a cup of water. And uh, I'm going to put that half a cup of water on and let that uh, kind of come up to a boil. And what we're making tonight is going to be uh, kind of a quick and easy baked bean. Now, I make baked beans at home. Um, I did a, a slideshow of cooking in the truck, and I happened to throw in a, a picture of my bean pot full of beans. Um, and I use the same recipe at home. And uh, the bean pot, you just can't get any better than that. It don't matter how you do them, I'm sorry. The bean pot rules. Uh, so what I did was I just threw in two chicken bouillon cubes into uh, the water. And uh, you think of baked beans, man, they're, you're going to be there all night. You're going to be like simmering these things. Well, not really. I'll tell you why. I'm kind of taking a shortcut. I, I don't want to be real about it here, but who really has, you know, the, the 12 to 14 hours that I cook my baked beans for at home in a truck? Unless you're doing them in like the Brunton oven, the lunchbox oven or something like that. I ain't got time for that. Um, so I, you saw my last video, meatloaf there, and uh, I'm I'm gonna cook up the other uh, meatloaf patty tonight. And uh, what I got to go with it is uh, coleslaw, broccoli slaw, with some Marie's coleslaw dressing. You just mix the two, boom, instant coleslaw, quick and easy. And. Uh, I'm gonna have the baked beans here. But they're not really baked beans at this point, I guess, are they? They're more like stovetop beans. Um, so instead of using the dry beans and soaking them and all that jazz, I'm cheating. I just got a can of uh, Great Northern beans, which is what I use for my, uh, my baked beans. And uh, a little bit of water, two bouillon cubes, I got the uh, baked beans here. You're asking why the chicken? I don't know, man. That's just the way my meme used to make it. For those of you who aren't French, my grandmother used to make it. So she always did baked beans with uh, chicken, bouillon base. Uh, let's see here. Brown sugar. I don't know if I'm going to use all the brown sugar. I do it to taste. I like my beans a little bit sweeter, but that's all good. And if you're wondering how I measured my water, it's this little guy right here. It's got measurements on the inside. I think I've showed you the blue one I have. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart for like a buck. It's a good cup to keep in here too, you know. Have a little uh, salsa water. So I put my salsa water in my cup and then it makes me feel like I'm high on life. Eating and everything. Alright, so now that that stuff's Looks like it's melted good. I gotta keep track of all my stuff. I also have some molasses. Boom, right there. I think you just saw me open up the cooler right here. That's where I keep all my stuff. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. And uh, this is like live TV as you're watching it. It's a good thing that uh, YouTube gave you the fast forward button. You can advance it a little bit. I do that sometimes on some videos too, especially when I think they're taking too long. And to be honest with you, I'd probably do that on this video, but in a minute, because 
you know, kind of wondering what to do for breakfast. <clears throat> Buttermilk pancakes, just add water. And I got some maple syrup to go with it. And I got some butter. So that's probably breakfast. We'll see how I feel in the morning. I can also cheat. I got a Pop-Tart. And I don't know what I... Oh, here it is. I just lost my spoon, too. Oh, hey, look. Check this out. I just found me a YoPlay yogurt. And I got some fresh fruit left over. So maybe I'll have that for breakfast. I don't know. I still got to take a 30-minute break tomorrow. So maybe I'll have 30-minute pancakes. You've seen me cook pancakes, so... Ain't nothing exciting there. Alright. Now I'm going to add some molasses. Ain't no real secret to this. It's just trying to get it out of the glass bottle. That's the hardest part. As you, I don't measure much. I do a lot of stuff to taste. If it, if it tastes good to my palate, that's, that's how I roll with it. And uh, I don't get many complaints. I don't get many suggestions either. Apparently people just like the way I do things. Um, so I'll be able to tell how it looks. If the beans aren't getting dark enough, I'll add a little bit more. Uh, the one thing I forgot would be bacon. Add a little bit of bacon to this. That would just make it phenomenal. Or salt pork. Cook up some salt pork. Add that to this. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to add my beans, my cheater beans. And I opened it with the old-fashioned P38 church key can opener. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and as you can see, there's there's a little too much water, but that's good because I want a little too much water. I don't know how this is going to come out of here. I have my brown sugar in the refrigerator, number one. And it's been humid, so I don't know how well this is going to come out of here. I will tell you, though, that Trangia puts off a little heat. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully I'm not blocking the shot. So I'll start off with that. And basically, I'm just going to cook it like this. Yeah, it looks like enough molasses. It looks to be about the right color. So I'm going to bring this up to a nice boil. And, uh... I'm going to do something a little bit longer and a little bit... I don't get loaded till 3 a.m. and it's, uh... We're looking at 7... 7 o'clock at night. Uh, most of the time when I get here, they come out around 9 o'clock and put me in a door. So i got a little bit of time to kill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick on a simmer ring. And uh, once I bring it up to a boil, I'm just going to drop it down. I'm just going to simmer it for a little bit and uh, see how this works. I mean, they include the simmering in the Trangia for a reason. So let's use it tonight. We'll, uh, we'll simmer this down. i got a lot of sugar in there between the molasses and the brown sugar. I don't want to burn it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing tonight. And uh, you watch me cook up a meatloaf. Italian hamburger patty last time so I'm not gonna bore you with that but I will kill the video for a minute and uh, I'll, I'll come back and uh, take off I could find boy tonight I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached I just had my handle around here and I don't know what I just did with it oh here it is all right so You've seen it before. I'll do it again. Drop the simmering down on it. Just like cooking on sterno. Uh, if I need to adjust it, I will. But I'll come back uh, when they look like baked beans. Hopefully this works. I've never done this in a truck, so trial and error. We'll see what happens. But so far, so good. I wish I had a little bacon to go with it. But we'll be right back in a, in a minute. Or in your terms, just a second. All right, folks. Well, here we are, parking lot cooking. That's the new big old Amazon building. The building goes on farther than I can show you here. 
It's like a nice interlude in the middle of me cooking, huh? You pop in from like cooking to big old Amazon building. Yeah, and some of you might know where I am. Alright. Port. My stove. My truck. And all 53 feet of trailer. Now back to cooking. <clears throat> if you haven't figured it out, I'm in Baltimore. So here's my little patty. Cooking out here. I figure I heated up the truck enough. This is a cool facility, by the way. You back in with the doors closed, they open up on the inside. I got some pictures somewhere. I might have to post one or two. <laughs> you can see where the pot was, right? My little rubber trivet. All right. So here's the baked beans. Tell me that don't look delicious. They look like baked beans, don't they? Um, so I simmered them. Uh, they went through uh, one can of fuel. So uh, about 30 minutes, 30 minutes on the train here. See, now I'm jumping in and out of the truck like a little monkey bouncing around here. So please excuse the, the shady photography. I am not a professional, nor do I play one on TV. But to show you just uh, just how sturdy this Sandy is, if I can grab this from a different angle. This really is a spatula. They come with a spork. Spatula, spork, nice thing. Yeah, see. I ain't gonna be able to do this with, with the camera. <laughs> It's gonna fight me all the way. Oh wait, here we go, I got it. Now see, we were just talking about things that you messed up in the truck. I cooked this a little bit more than I would have liked to cook, but it's not burnt. It ain't far from it, but it ain't burnt. This is gonna be well done on this side. But that's all right. That's part of cooking in the truck, see? I'll show you my mistake. Ain't no big deal. Once you put ketchup on it, it'll hide all that stuff anyway. There you go, folks. I'll back up in my truck here. Boom. And for all you who wonder, my little ham radio. I keep it clipped right there. Like I said, I'm in a rental truck. This is my water jug. I'm in a rental truck, so this is the best you get. All my gadgets on the windshield, my chicken band radio, and you can obviously tell I'm cooking because I got all my cooking stuff right here. So that's it. I'll give you one last look at the Trangia, and I'll tell you how it is, man. I'm, I already tried them baked beans. They're oh, delicious. They're delicious. You'll have to try it for yourself. All right. Well, here it is. Dinner's done. We just gotta mix the uh, the dressing into the coleslaw. Whoa, crazy zoom here. I wasn't expecting that. Got the uh, ketchup on the uh, hamburg patty, which it's not done as, as bad as it looks. And the beans, these beans come out perfect. Mm, they're delicious. There you have it. It's kind of like a little barbecue meal. Got my baked beans. I got my coleslaw. I got my hamburg patty. Meatloaf, whatever. Uh, start to finish. 45 minutes. A little bit of videoing. Phone call from my wife. I push it out to about. I'm not even at an hour yet. So less than an hour. Uh, cleanup will take maybe five, ten minutes. Uh, so that's it. Forty-five minutes. Start till dinner's done. So I could have probably cut a couple minutes off, but and uh, there you have it. Still some fuel left in the Trangia. So cooking up that little patty. Take all that much.
Um, and I got done just in time, too. The dark sky's rolling in, and it's probably about ready to rain again. So, I did it between rain showers. So that's it, folks. It's not the same old boring stuff that you always eat. And, uh, like I said, I had a little extra time to kill tonight, so I'm just going to sit back, enjoy, 